Hi everyone, my name is Shannon McGregor and I'm the buyer here at Camera Ready Cosmetics. Today I'm going to be showing you a very easy flesh wound using products you can find here on our website. Please enjoy. Alright, let's get started. So here I take my Ben Nye Spirit Gum and put it over the area where I'm going to apply the scar wax. After I've applied it where I need it, I go ahead and tap the area to make it tacky. And I know it's ready when the skin starts to lift with my finger. Then taking Ben Nye Nose and Scar Wax, I mold it into the shape I need the wound. And then put it over that spirit gum you just put on. Making sure it's on there real good and blending it on out. If I don't like to use my fingers, I'll take a spatula. This one's a Graftobian double-ended spatula dipped in makeup remover so it won't stick to the wax and I just go ahead and blend it on out into the skin to make it look like a seamless wound. And sometimes your fingers work a little better than the spatula. Just make sure they're coated in makeup remover so they don't stick to the wax. And blend it on out. And once you have it blended, gonna go ahead and take a fluffy brush and take some no color translucent powder and powder over the wound so you can color over it. Once I have it powdered, I took some foundation and applied it to the wound to make it blend in. Once the foundation's down and I felt like it was blended enough, I took the PPI palette and a sponge and made irritation around the wound. Just enough to where I felt it was good. Switching up colors from red to a, like a darker purple. Then I took my Graftobian double-ended spatula and made a slit through the scar wax for the wound. And you can make it whatever shape you wanted. I just thought it fit well around the eye like that. Then I took the PPI palette and added a little irritation inside of the wound. Um, not adding a lot of alcohol to this, making it a thicker color so it would stand out a little more. You can also add browns to it too to make it a little darker inside. And then I made sure it blended out a little bit so there's no harsh colors around or edges. Adding a little more irritation. This time it's a little more purplish blue for the bruising and irritation. Then I'm taking the Ben Nye Stage Blood and I'm applying it directly to the wound. And you want to make sure you do this kind of not as neat as you would normally do it because it's a wound and nothing's very neat in special effects. And then I just added enough blood to where I thought it looked gory enough. And voila, there you have your easy wound. Hey everyone, so that was our easy flesh wound. Thanks to Paul for being our victim. My pleasure, it's all in the day's work. If you liked the video, please like below and subscribe to our page and have a great day.